What's up, Paul here from Guitar World, and today we'll be looking at not one, but two pieces of gear from Sir. Their Classic S Vintage Limited Edition guitar and their SL68 Mark II amplifier. This is super exciting. Let's check it out. In case you didn't know, and it's worth repeating, Sir is one of those premier music instrument brands that's considered the best of the best among players and pros with their many guitar models, amplifiers, and effects. Here today, we have two prime examples of what they create. Let's begin with what I have in my hands, which is the Sir Classic S Vintage Guitar. As you can see, this is a meticulously crafted instrument, and this particular model is a limited edition beauty that tips its hat to the golden era of vintage guitar builds. It has this cool, lightly aged, fireless gold lacquer finish, but it also comes in a wide variety of other finishes. It features a three-piece alder body, a roasted maple neck with an oiled back that feels awesome to the touch, a not too chunky rounded C profile neck shape, it's super comfortable, an Indian rosewood fingerboard with nickel frets, and a flat 9 to 12 inch compound radius fretboard that ensures effortless playability and unfettered freedom across the entire neck. There's also a tusk nut and go to Klusen vintage style tuners. What I dig is the refined body carve or contour in the back that's sculpted to reach the upper frets. For pickups, the Classic S Vintage combines their own Sir V63 Plus in the neck and middle positions for single coils and a Sir SSV in the bridge for a humbucker. So you get the best of both worlds for tone and versatility. Now moving over to the head behind me, which is what I'll be playing this guitar through. It is Sir's latest in the evolution of their popular SL series of hand-wired amplifiers with the introduction of the SL68 Mark II. There's also an SL67 Mark II, but today we're gonna to be checking out the SL68 Mark II which is essentially a 100 watt head that offers exactly what your eyes are telling you. A no compromise recreation of classic British tones with much needed flexibility. What you'll hear from this SL68 Mark II is a range of sparkling cleans to roaring high gain variac style overdriven tones with this amp responding dynamically to every nuance of your playing style. So without further ado, let's go over the main features of the SL68 Mark II. This is a single channel head with an expanded tonal range. It features four inputs with the addition of three switches and the all new transparent master volume circuit. So you can cover that clean to dirty range of tones at any volume. There's also a Variac low power mode on this amp. The three position power switch incorporates a low power Variac mode that lowers the amount of voltage available to the amp. This classic mod makes the amp feel more spongy with a smoother attack What's also great is you avoid having to rebias the amp when switching power modes. This has two internal bias adjustments, one for high power and the other for low. You'll notice on the face, the three switches up top, which are new to this amp. One is the fat cap switch that adds low end punch and bass that's perfect when you use the treble channel. In the original SL series amp, the fat cap was always in the circuit. This switch allows you to remove the fat cap to get a closer, and more true stock vintage amp tone. The mid boost switch allows you to dial in the perfect amount of mid range punch to cut through the mix. This switch activates a bit more gain to the phase inverter and a subtle lift to the tone stack, boosting the gain to the mid range. It works best when diming the controls. Finally, the three way bright switch adds brilliance and sparkle to your tone. This switch allows you to choose between three different values. Off is the original SL series, all the way bright which is the stock value found in vintage amps and a middle position that is somewhere in between. The amp's new master volume is great because you'll never have to use external attenuators. Sir's redesigned master volume circuit gives you total control over your amp's output, preserving your tone whether you're in their bedroom or on the biggest stage. The master volume control is super effective at transparently controlling the output of the amp. When the control is at 10, it is completely transparent and out of the circuit. Once you start turning it down, the amp's volume can be reduced all the way down to whisper levels. 
okay, let's get around to it. You want to hear this amp. And of course, like a typical 100 watt amp, this is, it's super loud. Uh, I'm running it through a pair of cabinet, through a pair of 412 cabinets loaded with Celestian uh, G1275 speakers. Uh, the other one has custom voiced Celestian speakers. I think they're rated at 100. So one's a little bit of the high mid, the other is more of a focused mid. Uh, you get a little nice blend of the two of them. Uh, obviously the four input type of, uh, four inputs, I'm in the high input, so that's a little more bright. Obviously, if I was in the low, it's going to be a little less bright, a little less uh, gainy. Then, of course, on the second channel is a little more bassy, but full output and then low input. So you get the idea. Right now, I have the three switches. I have the fat cap off, bypassed. I have the boost, the mid-range engaged, so I get a little bit of that punch. And right now, the bright switch is off. So this is just what I have set up right now is a great uh, classic rock sound. Let's take a listen. Now let's hear a little bit the single coils on this one. Also pop the, to split the coil on the humbucker here. Using the same, uh, tone that I've been using out of this, I'm going to going to actually add a little enhancement to it, the way these kind of amps are usually used and meant to be heard. So I have a, an overdrive, very popular overdrive, many of you will know, and I'm also using a wah pedal. And so when you use those combination between these two, this setup is just fantastic. So take a listen what it sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 
what you just heard is this is where I have everything set because it's super bright, but let's hear all the nuance as I start uh, moving some of the switches. This is where I have the EQ pretty much. It's a nice, it's a good spread here. So if I start to crank the treble, it gets a little too bright. I have the bass up. Here is this the sound without the the mid boosts uh, switch here. Take a listen. Back with it. And then here's the fat cap, which adds a, definitely a lot of uh, punch. Also, I have the bright switch out of the circuit, so I like that tone on this one. But here's I added in the middle, which gets more of that neutral. Adds a little bit of brightness, and then here it is all the way, which is super bright. Middle. And then back. And of course, uh, you can see where I have the volume right now on this because now obviously it's being attenuated because I have the master volume put down a little bit on the lower side so I'm not killing anybody here. So right now it's in the circuit and so I get to turn this up and get that nice uh, gain. So right here about sounds really nice and focused. I can pull it back, get more of that clean. And as you pull it up, you get more of those dynamics. So you hear it really starts to crunch and starts to come alive. But as, as I said before, this thing has got a lot of dynamics and a lot of nuance. It just sounds fantastic. And combine that using this, uh, you know, volume here with the back, on the back with the master volume. It starts to get a bit loud. And I can pull it back, whatever, if I need to. So really, at any volume, you really, really capture all that sparkle and nuance. Now let me do something really quick. I'm going to take it out of the circuit. I'm going to pull it all the way up. So now it's transparent and out of the circuit. So now this becomes just like a lot of vintage amps. I'm only on basically one and it's already got that. And there you go. So let me pull that back so it attenuated a bit because it's so loud. And then I can really get it back to where I want it to, you know, the sound. So the more manageable level so you can pretty much play at any club where they won't want to kill you. So let me show you really quickly using that sound the the different inputs so you hear the difference so right now I'm in the bright channel full output this brings it the low input of the bright channel it's a little bit of a warmer softer compared to that here and then we get over here to the base of your channel second input a lot of guitar players like to play in that channel as well and of course, I haven't even done it, but you can bridge the channels as well if that's your favorite thing to do. And then the lower input on this side. So 
So you can hear that has a lot of nice chime on this channel. Also, I mentioned you can get a range of tones like right now. You can also get a great, really clean sound out of this as well. So I back that down and uh, just take a listen. It's really just gorgeous. Let me also show you what it sounds like in low power mode. So that's really helpful. And let's knock that down. Now it gets a little more spongy, really nice. I'm gonna crank this up a bit. I'll take the mid out of the circuit and then of course, pretty much everything to the left. Here we go. <laughs> bit of the mid. Some boost. What's also great is, of course, having right now, even in the low input, it can get really loud. And if you like that sponginess live, you can get it to like stage levels, like, like this. Or I can bring it all the way down to like pretty much bedroom volume. But as you heard, you heard all the dynamics and all the, 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 the harmonically rich content is all preserved with this amp. So just amazing. There's no doubt that Sir is at their best in combining vintage inspiration with contemporary touches. Both the Classic S Vintage Limited Edition guitar 
and the SL68 Mark II amplifier provide authentic, warm tones of the past, but come with all the flexibility and modern upgrades top players desire. From unparalleled craftsmanship to effortless playability, these two new guitar and amp editions, Proof Sir delivers without compromise. Definitely check it out.